Hi guys and ladies, I found another fish recipe. It sounds so rich and delicious. Well, you know, I tried catching my own fish, but it was fruitless. There's ice on the lake, but the ice is too thin to walk on. I tried fishing also from my shelter out on the dock, but the water was just too muddy. <laughs> so now what? Well, how about fish from the freezer? I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Remember all the times I caught crappie, but I never used them? Let's look at a couple of scenes and you'll see what I mean. Whoa, goodness. <laughs> I can't believe I caught a fish in this muddy water, but I did. Oh my goodness, it's a crappie, but hey, I'll take it. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow, <laughs> they're running big. Whoa, pick one. Yikes. Look at this, a crappie. Oh, wow. Got one, got one. Look at the size. Ah, <laughs> I got one. I can't believe it. Oh, whoa. Oh, another crappie! And look at the size on these guys. I'm not the biggest fan of the taste of crappie. They seem to have a dryness, a mealiness, but I think with this recipe, they'll be rich and yummy. Who knows? Let's give them a try. But first, I'd like to make a veggie side dish. What I'm doing here is putting a half a stick of butter in a skillet, along with two tablespoons here of olive oil. Okay, I've got this skillet on the medium, high, medium. And let's get our asparagus in there. Asparagus, asparagus. Here's a couple teaspoons of this uh, crushed garlic. I probably should have put it in before the asparagus, but it's okay. Eh, what the heck, you know? I'm adding a little less than a teaspoon of kosher salt. I let these cook over 10 minutes because they're thick. These are thick. Let's bowl them up. You know, like plate them up, only bowl them up. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. I've got about two or three ounces of this shredded Parmigiano Reggiano. I just love saying it. Oh, but it's so good. And just let it melt. Ooh, ooh. Let me give one of these a try. Mmm. I'm so glad I added the cheese, even if it wasn't in the recipe. This is delicious. Savory, sweet. Mmm, mmm. I want to get on with the fish, but I need the juice of a half a lemon. Well, the ones I have are hard as a rock. Let's put them in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's still pretty hard. It, it's just warm now. Oh, well. Let's cut it this way. Uh, now we're cooking. What the heck? Let me do the other half. You'll need 8 to 12 crappie filleted using a plastic bag mixed. Uh, the recipe I found has a video attached and it's filled with deception. At the start, they show 8 to 12 crappie. That's 20 fillets. But during the cooking, there are only 7 of them. What did they do with the other 13? And they seem to use up all the ingredients just for those 7. Well, I'm going to try cooking mine all at once. I'm putting four eggs in this medium bowl. There's my low carb flour. And in this bag, I have two cups of that low carb flour. 
I'm going to add a half teaspoon of ground pepper to that flour. Here's a half teaspoon each of salt and garlic powder. Here are a couple teaspoons of dried oregano. Here are a couple tablespoons of chopped cilantro. You can use chopped parsley. Look how huge some of these crappie fillets are. Well, I've got almost a pound and a half of these crappie fillets, and I'm putting them in the bag with the flour, seasoned flour. You know this routine. I just hope it works with this recipe. Oh, no. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to put at least a, a quarter cup of uh, peanut oil in this skillet. That's about right. Once again, the recipe is unclear. Now, I have to run this through an egg wash and then fry it in the skillet. But uh, do I go directly into the skillet or can I put it in a holding dish first so they all cook at once? Let's go to the holding dish. Hmm. I'm going to start frying these up. Ooh. Look at this. <laughs> One more. I'm only going to fry these or saute these a minute and a half on each side. I don't know. I'm making it up. The directions are unclear. That's it. I'm turning the heat way down, way down. Oh, yeah. I'm adding a stick of butter, a cup of white wine. It doesn't look white. Two cups of sliced mushroom. How about that lemon juice? Now I'm just going to cover and simmer this. I'm going to let it simmer between 10 and 15 minutes. What we're supposed to have here is crappie francais. I, would, I don't know if I said that right. Crappie francais. And while it's simmering away, I might as well let you all know that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic Miss Lulu Cheeks herself is coming over here for dinner tonight. <laughs> but you, you know how much I'd love to marry her, but, but she seems reluctant. I, I don't know if she realizes yet the benefits a husband can bring her. I need to point out to her the advantages of having a devoted husband. It's been simmering 12 or 13 minutes. I think it, oh yeah, it looks so good. Let's plate these babies up. My guest is just about to arrive. Let me have a piece. Not bad. It tastes like chicken. It really does, but softer. It has a good flavor. No, I, I really, I can't believe this is crappy. I actually like it. <laughs> hey, this works. Well, here we are once again uh, with the celebrity restaurant and food critic, a famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself. Thank you so much for joining me at my uh, moldy mobile home. And uh, you had a chance to dine on my asparagus and crappie francais. Yes. Yes. What did you think? They were both very good. I, really? I, of course, you know I love cheese, and I do love asparagus, uh, so that was very tasty. Mm -hmm. And the fish was well prepared, oh. and I enjoyed the mushrooms. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Cheeks. Yes. Oh, I can say Lulu now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You remember our friends, Sam and Sharon? <laughs> remember when uh, Sharon was fired from her job, and Sam was so supportive? And when she was in a coma for months, remember that? Uh, he was at her bedside uh, every day. And how about when she fell down the stairs and broke her arm and how he uh, stayed home and did all the cooking and cleaning? Uh, what, what do you think of a husband like that? Mm, I think he's bad luck. Oh. Um, can I have a hug? <laughs>